Hello, my name is Ian Lister and I work at the Language Centre at Politecnico di Torino. I'm an English language expert and I was involved in the EduHack course uh, at the start of the EduHackathon, which took place, organised by the Politecnico di Torino uh, in April. And it was a very stimulating, intense experience. Um, the hackathon took place online for obvious reasons for the situation that we're in. Um, but actually, it never felt like an experience that was a virtual experience. It felt like a very real, hands-on experience over the two days uh, that the hackathon occupied. Um, it began from a proposal which I made together with one of my colleagues from the Language Center. Uh, and the proposal was quite abstract, a very broad canvas, which incorporated a lot of the concepts and tools which we'd uh, seen during the course. Uh, and the idea was to then develop that, obviously, during the Edu Hackathon. And it was very interesting to see how that very broad canvas became something very specific. Uh, this was thanks to the work in, in our group, a group of four people, a very heterogeneous group from different backgrounds. And in the end, that group became homogeneous. We were working together towards the same goals, we found a common idea to work on um, in that broad canvas. Uh, we had an initial meeting to come up with a few ideas. And then during the hackathon itself, we worked on a framework which was provided for us. Uh, the organization, I think, was a key to the success of the Edu Hackathon. And thanks to this framework, we were able to develop our ideas together also with the work of uh, facilitators. We had uh, a facilitator from the information technology field and another facilitator from the field of pedagogy. And the information technology facilitator gave us a very good idea um, to which we could apply our proposal. The original idea was for a series of video lessons um, that wasn't going to work. So in the end, we came up with the idea, thanks to the facilitator, of a multimedia wiki page into which we could incorporate the various tools we'd seen during the course and the various concepts very much geared towards the idea of personal learning for students. Um, so over the two days, the first day we developed this framework, um, and then the second day we elaborated it together. The timing, we never felt under pressure. I think the timing worked very well. Um, a couple of hours in the morning of the first day, a couple of hours in the afternoon, and then a couple of hours on the second day was sufficient time to be able to work, um, yes, intensely, but in a very stimulating way. And I say we never felt under pressure. We finished kind of in the last few minutes of time we had available but we were never under pressure to produce this final project. And seeing this project come to fruition was very satisfying for all of us.